the proverbial forbidden door has been opened. So the partnership between AEW and New Japan Pro Wrestling is basically official because you don't just retweet each other <laughs> and start doing all this crap without being a partnership. So, well, Dave Meltzer actually brought it up on the Wrestling Observer. I do, and I actually special. have it up here. Cool, perfect. <laughs> so, quote from Mr. Meltzer himself from the Wrestling Observer newsletter. Here we go. He says, "The deal is done, and the sides have been on a wor- have a working relationship. The pandemic probably sped that up, but all it also holds it back at the same time. The only way to get Moxley was the only way to get Moxley was to make a deal." So it looks like Moxley was the forefront of this deal, which is crazy. Um, when AEW first started, I think New Japan had no idea how successful they would be. They were really a lot of childish stuff, and even when I t- tell people, they don't want to believe it. But it was really, but it really was. It's it was a lot of childish stuff. It was essentially that they, New Japan Pro Wrestling, wanted Tony Khan to come and see them, and he didn't. And he even thought that, and they even thought that they, AEW, sent Chris Harrington. And even though the young bucks were uh, it, the young bucks were uh, in office, and they oh God, whoever wrote this like quote from Meltzer, God, you need a le- lesson in grammar because this is definitely not how he spoke. <laughs> anyway, the gist of it there is that you know they were talking in the beginning, and now it's kind of been it, it, it's it's been sped up the talks, and obviously the big thing was Moxley, Moxley being. You know, they want Moxley over there. So basically, Tony Khan's like, well, if you guys want Moxley, let's make a deal. <laughs> so I'm happy for this. I'm really happy. But they needed Moxley. says they needed Moxley because he had the U.S. title, the, IWG, the IWGP one. Uh, they could they could have stripped them. They could have, they could have if they wanted to, but they didn't want to. That's important. So New yeah. Japan could have just stripped Moxley, right, and just cut ties. But they didn't. They wanted a relationship to work out between these two companies. So that's a good thing as well. The only way to get him because he couldn't go to Japan because obviously the pandemic and stuff was to do it here. But the only way for him to do it here is to be approved by Tony Khan. So it opened the door. Um, and I guess uh, uh, Her- the, the guy that was over there running Harold uh, May, I can't say his Mish. name. Mish is gone. Yeah, so. I know I'm saying they're probably wrong. So my apologies. <laughs> yeah. So that, that helped. Like that. He deal. took a step down. So, man, but that's huge. Yeah. This is huge. This is something that we've been talking about on all the podcasts since, you know, we started all the podcasts and just like the possibilities. And I know like Twitter is so half and half that I was reading. People hate it. People love it. Why do you think people uh, are hating this? Like, <laughs> people are hating it because I, I can understand where some people are going with the fact that as I always talk about certain things that, yes, I love the, op- you know, uh, the fact that we've opened doors here and the dream matches that we can have, right? But my my thing, right, that I always say on the podcast is like, don't forget about your roster either, you know. So I think that's where some of the hate that was coming on 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 well, that doesn't really make sense. They're not today. looking to add like five like fifty right. New Japan people. This is just working relationship for like you know here and there, like a Moxley going to do what he's doing now, or if a Jericho wants to go to wrestle at the Tokyo Dome next year, or Omega wants to go wrestle Obushi at the Tokyo Dome next year. This is what this is for. I think people are kind of getting confused and thinking that they're just going to merge the rosters. I'm like, no, that's not happening here. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I like the fact of the thought of, like, once in a while, maybe we could get a feud once, once in a while, maybe like a pay-per-view, like the dream matches that we can have. It doesn't need to be every week. It doesn't need to be, like, everybody coming over you know, like basic storyline that makes sense. I feel like, 